Okay, so let's start painting our bow tie black. That's right, black. Because black goes with everything. First, you're going to want to go ahead and... I, I use brake cleaner to take all the dirt out and everything. Like, get it nice and clean just to prep it up so that we could actually start taping up what you don't want to paint. And for instance, I don't want to tape up the chrome, so for now we're just focusing on the golden bow tie. There we go, now that we have it all taped up and everything, edges all tucked in, you want to make sure that they're tucked in so that it looks like it's going to come straight from the factory. You want to have something in the back so that you don't overpaint your floors, cardboard. I'm using a trash bag, for instance. So, now that we already, we already got through the taping process, now let's go to the paint. I'm going to be using caliper paint because, I mean, whatever paint you want, you can use gloss, you could use a fine finish, but I kind of want like a matte color, so this should do the trick. So we're going to go ahead and start. I did a little practice coat right there. We're going to just go waving. Since it's a small, it's kind of like a small, how do you say it? It's small, <laughs> so we're just we're gonna. It's gonna have to be fast paced because since it's so small, you want to get every single edge. So you want to go up, left. I mean up, right, left, and then the on the bottom you want to face upwards so that you're getting all the corners. And then let's just see how it goes. First coat. Oh, that was pretty good so now we're just gonna go ahead and wait five minutes let this one dry and, and sink in and then we'll go ahead and start with the next coat each coat is gonna get heavier and heavier so that we don't have to worry about seeing gold peeking out of the black so we want to hide all the gold of course so let's just go ahead and let this one seat in and we'll be right back in five minutes all right Time for the next coat. Make sure you should can first and get the so we don't get any roughness. Uh, look at my boy right there. Look at that. Look at that dog. Look at that dog. <laughs> All right, back to the job. Let's go for coat number two. Again, make sure to get all the edges. Like, this is barely a second coat, so on the third coat, we're probably gonna do like five coats. Oh, it's already looking good. Might just cut it down to four. So, we're gonna go ahead and on the third and fourth coat, we're gonna want to flip it around just so that we could get the bottom part and make sure we're getting all the angles. So, let's just go ahead and let this soak in. We'll be right back for coat three. Okay, we're getting ready for coat three. Now we're gonna go ahead and carefully just turn it the other way so that we could actually get all the other edges that we missed the first two coats. So just go ahead and align it. Make sure it's nice and straight. If you can. Hopefully this video is helping. All right, let's go for ahead and start coat three. It's looking good so far. I think the fourth coat will be our last coat. Yes. This is actually really good paint. All right, let's go ahead and wait for coat four and we'll be right back. All right, last and final coat. I already shook the can. Let's go ahead and finish this bow tie off and put it back on the truck. That's 
soon as it's done, we're gonna go ahead and throw it on the truck and let's see how it goes. 